What is up everybody and welcome to my installation tutorial for Fossils and Archaeology Revival build 0004 which was just released. So first you're going to need one thing to actually get this started. You're going to need WinRAR that I'm going to be using that throughout the entire installation. You'll find a link to that in the description. So now the first link you'll find in the description to, will be to this page which is the Fossils and Archaeology page and you're going to click on that little thing that says direct right there and actually download the mod itself. Now you can go back to this page if you want, but uh, you are pretty much done with it for now. Now the other thing you will need to play Fossils and Archaeology is Minecraft Forge, but since Fossils and Archaeology 004 is for Minecraft 1.4.7, you can't use the latest build, so you want to go to this page and click Forge 6.6.0 for Minecraft 1.4.7, and then just click Universal Director AdFly and actually download it. I already have it installed and everything, so I'm not going to do that. Actually, here, I'll do it anyway, because I'm a good person. And uh, yeah, so now you're going to want to locate the folder where those two are and uh, have them in there. So now you're going to want to type in, hit start and type in run in the little search bar and click on this. Then type in percent app data percent and hit OK. So now you want to go to your dot Minecraft and go in here and then uh, you're going to want to go to your bin folder and click on the Minecraft jar, hit right click, open with WinRAR Archiver, and then you want to delete meta inf, you know, do your thing, open up Minecraft Forge Universal, wherever you downloaded it, copy and paste everything from here, and drag and drop it into the Minecraft jar, pretty straightforward and standard, I already did that, so I'm not going to do it, and uh, let's close the right thing here. So now what you're going to want to do is, on the way down, go to your config, I know people are going to mess this up, because they always do, and delete fossil.cfg as uh, there are there is a new config file and the only way it'll update if that's gone so now you're going to want to also if you are, are installing this mod for the first time you can open this and uh, just delete fossils and arche fossils dot archaeology if it is in there and um, drag and drop the new mod in and there you go so now you have installed fossils and archaeology build 0004 so i'll show you it right here as it loads and mojang awesome and you go to mods fossil, fossils and archaeology 0004 if you open up the config file you will find a plethora of options some are new which i'll go over now obviously here you have all the blocks where you can modify the block ids here you have the items where again you can modify the item ids but down here we have the actual uh options you can change so there are three new ones i will go over and i'll show you how to do one of them but first i'll just go over the, the academy you know spawning of academy this one's new dinos do break blocks again so if you uh, don't want your t-rex blowing up your house which you know that has happened to me once or twice you may want to disable this again it's really up to you um dinos starve uh that basically if you have this on true dinosaurs will disappear so i recommend putting it to false i don't play single player so i have it on true heal dinos or actually no that's heal dinos but uh, obviously that's dinos starving if you have heal dinos on true or on true they will disappear and false it's all good but you can't heal them uh i don't know what that one is server language is obviously the language you use ships true are the ships spawning in the ocean so now skull overlay this is a new feature that if you do have a skull on it will have a different overlay very similar to how you ha if you have a pumpkin on so basically if you want to set this to true and i'll type in true right there you're going to have to go through something. So go to your .minecraft. You're going to want to open up your uh, your minecraft.jar. So, you know, just open it with WinVar or whatever program you're deciding to use. And then you're going to have to go into your fossils and archaeology folder. So that's in mods. Go to fossils and archaeology. Go to fossil and click on textures. So now you, you could hit S to get to it faster. But you're going to want to drag and drop this into part of your Minecraft jar. You want to drag and drop into your misc folder so click on that and you just drag and drop the skull helmet blur into misc and hit ok obviously and then uh, you can go back where were we and you know save this i hit Control s and uh, is everything so now you are all done and you have everything installed properly and obviously the skull helmet working properly if you did do that part so i thank you all for watching you can find links to everything you'll need in the description below and i hope to see you all next time